seeing you. <laughs> Cheers, man. I'll take that one. Hi there, thanks for joining me. I'm just on my way to the NEC for the Practical Classics Car Restoration Show. Been really looking forward to, to going to this one. I've got a friend that you've probably seen if you watch Bangers and Cash. On sale this week. 1982 Audi Quattro, a very rare car. Gonna make a heck of a thing this, isn't it? And he's um, he bought the Audi Quattro, 1980. Uh, back in season five, episode two, it was a bit of a shed, but he's completely restored it. And this is the first time the car's going to be out at the show. So I'm desperate to get over there. I've not seen it yet. I've seen loads of build pictures and I've been following the story, um, but I've not seen it completed. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to going and meeting him and, uh, and going and have a look at the car. So yeah. Let's crack on, get over there and see what else is there. It's going to be a great show. There should be lots and lots of interesting stuff. So, uh, yes, yeah, have a good day. It's only 40 minutes from me to Birmingham. Let's park the car up. We made it in and look what we've got. <laughs> I've been waiting to see this car for about the last two years. And, uh, oh my goodness me, the work that's gone into this is unbelievable. Well, that's why I'm this is Michael. Whose oh, yeah. car it is? Drop your bonnet. And um, yeah, he's going to show me around. We've had, like I say, we've been talking about this car for ages, following the process through um, all the, the trials and tribulations of the build. And I'm so excited to come and see it. What you have done, good Jesus! Just, I mean, the quality of the finish is unbelievable. He's worked so hard on this car, like I say, over the last two years. Absolutely unbelievable. Took the sunroof out, welded the roof up, paintwork, the interior. Every part of this car has been taken off and stripped down. It's it's a complete restoration. A lot of it is standard and original. He's tried not to replace components. He's tried to restore and renovate. These little shiny trims around the headlights were a nightmare to have done. It's like chrome on plastic and nobody wanted to get involved in it. But he managed to find somebody down in, I think it was down south in Brighton that did it but just look at the difference. A complete transformation. It just shows you what you can do if you really put your mind to it and you've got a bit of skill and a bit of cash. Michael's been talking to me every week for the last two years pretty much and we've been talking and discussing the build, the problems, he's had issues with it running, he's had issues with the gear selector linkage, um, just loads of little things, little niggles that he's had to overcome. And by, by golly, has he overcome them, it just looks amazing. It's been so good getting involved, not actually mechanically, but sharing some of my knowledge if I could help him out with a few bits and pieces, throw some ideas in there. And like I say, it's fantastic to see it in its final, in its final state. It's just absolutely stunning. He's going to pop round, he says, and let me have a drive in it and take it for a spin. So I'll try and get the camera out when he does, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Look what it's come from yeah, and what it's to, it now is, it's just amazing. It's taken all the wires off and cleaned There's every single wire. Black hoses, you know. Try to keep it stock as much as you can. Yeah, well, it's even like the cowling. It's quite brand new, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's absolutely immaculate. The little stickers on the coil, on the, the reservoir for the power steering. <laughs> on the bonnet they've all been replaced they've I mean, all been piece of plastic the old flimsy stuff that breaks it's, it's just clean as a whistle isn't it they've all been reproduced so all these stickers have all been yeah just yeah look at that i mean you wouldn't know it wasn't original it's absolutely perfect thanks mate Cheers, fella. Nice to see you. Yeah, come in, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Derek from Bangers and Cash. Not with that in the phone, don't work there no more. Don't upset her. Hello there, Sarah from Bangers and Cash. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I think he have upset her. <laughs> but there's the show. I'll take you around. We'll have a quick whiz around with the camera. See if there's anything see. decent about. I could do with one of them. A nice Artec welder. That'll sort me out. Do with a new MIG welder. Oh, look at that beautiful old Audi 100. That is immaculate, it's absolutely stunning. Another Quattro, and they've got all the barn finds on this side. They just dragged a few in just to show you the condition of some of the old cars and, and obviously what your starting point is. <laughs> the price of some of these, though, take this Escort, you know, they're just fetching massive money whether they're yeah, in a poor state or not. 
Now that is immaculate. That is gorgeous. Mark One Fiesta, absolutely stunning. Look at the depth of the paintwork. You've got the auto jumble, tools, you name it. There's absolutely loads. So back in the 50s, my granddad had some of the first Volvos in Leicester. He owned a timber company um, and he used the Volvos to tow uh, big trailers with all the gear and all the frames in them and stuff like that. So they were a really good tool. He absolutely loved them. This was just one of the halls. If you went down the stairs, you'd actually got a second hall and a third hall. So this was the second hall. And you can see how much stuff was in here, absolutely loads. Oh, that's me sat gun, I love it. Got a Morgan. And down here you've got a lot of people with the owners clubs doing work on the cars, just doing some demonstrations. James Bond can't be too far away. <laughs> it looks nice. Gorgeous. I wouldn't want to drive it though. Over here we've got the Jensen. Not everybody's cup of tea, I'm not a fan. I don't really like them. Now we're talking, a bit of Porsche action. You just got about every owner's club that's about here. It's a massive show. Like I say, it's the first time I've been, but it surprised me how big it is. She cried. Oh, look at that. Now, my mate Colin, he had the uh, Manta with a body kit on it. It didn't look quite like that, but it did a little cocaine. It was all right back in the day. Got the old uh, Vauxhall Shove It as well. Andy had one of those, one another of my friends. I found them, I found them, my little dream car. My first car was a Talbot Sunbeam. I've always wanted the Lotus Sunbeam. There we go. <coughs> Oh, just look at these. Oh, no, look at that. Simple, lovely to drive, rear wheel drive, a bit twitchy on the back. Absolutely loved it, and I think I'm going to go for the black and silver one. <laughs> See, this one's got the same headlights as what my old one had. Mine was a T Reg. CFP 8070, I think it's uh, down the brake as you know, the, the uh, brake in the side. <laughs> I always wanted the Lotus though, I had a friend Jimmy, got a Lotus, uh, it was beautiful. I always left a couple of 11s down the road when he put his foot down. <laughs> Look at that, that was gorgeous. I don't know if I like the black or the blue though, I don't know if I like the two, but I don't like the That was nice as well though, with a rally spec on it. Blue, blue silver, looks nice. This is the last edition as well with the square headlights on the front. I'll take that one. Okay. And you've always got a lovely good Mini, 1275 GT. Oh, yeah. I've had a couple of Minis in my time. In fact, I think the first car I ever drove was a Mini, and I hadn't even got my license. Something about them, isn't they? Beautiful. I do like these Fords as well, the little Pumas. they just got something about them, a real nice shape. And obviously the Mark 1 Escorts, Mexico, I mean, that is just a dream car. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I'm struggling to keep my hands off, to be fair. But it says, please don't touch it, I just want to get my hands on it. I had my friend Craig, his dad had one of these, the old 2.8 Granada. That brown one there. My next door neighbour had one of them when I fell over at school and banged me head, he came down and took me down to the doctors. <laughs> the Valitor at the old garage I worked at, he had one of the Capris. Bill had one of those orange ones. Always liked the XR3i, got a nice rafts to it. I think they're bad for a you know, pretty old motor. New technology, CVH engine. Back in the day it was a bit groundbreaking. The only trouble was. They didn't last the engines, the, the heads seemed to wear, camshafts tapped, um, bores wore, smoked a bit. Whether that was just down to crap oils at the time, I don't know, but uh, yeah, the girls seemed to fail after a few thousand miles. Some beach buggies. No, I don't seem to have one of them. Tools of the turnout MGs. Cadwell. Just stuff edition. A big old bird in it, that. A bit ugly as well, though. So you got a convertible mini, got loads of mini kits, mini mopes and stuff. They got Inspector Morse's kind of looking Jaguar. TR7, chap down the road had one of these when I was a kid. Always loved the look of it. Sounded awful, though. Then you got some big Range Rovers. Bentley 
that Trans Am. We're smoking the band that he came too far away. And that is the best looking E-Type Jack I've ever seen, I think. Like I said, I'm not a fan of them, but that one looks all right. Back in the day when I was 21, I was bought a ticket for Jim Russell Racing at Donington Circuit, and this is what I got to drive in, the GTE um, Astro. Good, good little motor, we had a right good time. I was a bit of a Honda boy back then, and uh, yeah, the Astro was a, was a decent tool. So we've got the DeLorean here, this guy owns it, look Olivia, what a car, he's actually a load of work to it, fuel system overhaul, cooling system overhaul, so how long have you had it? Uh, just since last year. Oh, just, not, not too long then? Yeah, just bought it uh, practical last year. He'll be going to rallies with Colin first. <laughs> and now we've got the dreaded Rovers, K-series engines, oh, head gaskets, that's all I think about. Now, now we're talking different. If that's got the Honda engine in it, that'd be a cracking motor. Oh no, 216, it won't have, will it? Something that'll be Honda. It was some of the 213s that got the little 1300 Honda engine. They were, they were amazing. But, uh, yeah, this dreaded thing. Oh, head gaskets, head gaskets. They were quite tunable though, but uh, not for very long. That's why most of these down here are diesel. Oh, I oh. <laughs> Now, a Metro, I had one that looked almost identical to that. A565 FNN, I don't think it's still going. MG it was, I think it was my third car. It was a good motor, enjoyed it. You have to put a gearbox in it though, that went. Now I've got talking to this guy with the Marina. What a lovely bloke, absolute charm. Owners Club Ret Veteran. Work in progress. Yes, mate. Yes. Uh, first start after 20 years, hopefully later today. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wowzers. We have to go through everything because we don't know what's good and what's bad. It doesn't look too bad under there, though, does it? No, I mean, fair play to the owner, the original owner, and he gave it to the club last year on the condition we found a young driver for it. To take don't it. give it Jeremy Clarkson, whatever you do. No, don't, 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 please, please don't. <laughs> oh, I swear word there. I had an old Sunbeam that used banger racing one time and rather than using something like this, we just rolled it on its side, changed the clutch and then rolled it back again. <laughs> That's a cracking idea, I like them. They just bolt straight onto the hub. So you can damage in the side of the van. And they're like a banana, and you can just roll the car up. Brilliant. Oh, and now we've got the Hillman in. I've only ever done one job on one of these, and that was change the clutch. And uh, you could do it. I didn't have to take the engine out. You could do it pretty much in situ, but it was, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a game. Just ended up moving it back, if I remember right. It's a long while ago. Quite like the look of this. This is uh, clean and tidy. 1959, Carmen. Beautiful. 1959 left hand drive. This takes me back to my Westfield ad. It had a 4.3 V8 in it, beautiful car, great for doing track days in. This is the MK Indy. It's not really a classic yet though. Auto Glim. We've got that review coming up of the snow foam. We have got the Polar Blast uh, to, to use in that one. We're down into the auction area, we've got a few cars that are going up. Wouldn't mind that, that's quite nice. Got the fat wheels on the back though, but um, yeah, we've got a few in here. Yeah, I need the fat wide arches on the Cobra. This is lovely though, look at that Lancia Delta Integrale four wheel drive G Reg, I think it is this one, and they want £42,000 for it. Nice little stubby Audi Quattro, that looks tidy, doesn't it? Oh, this takes me back. Oh, here we go again, reminiscing 300ZX twin turbo. Absolutely ragged one of them one time. Sideways action, big style. You can see all the cars, these are all off sale. Let's go and have a look around some of them. I think you're allowed to go and sit in them. So um, I've got the all areas pass on my wrist. Let's go for it. Sport for choice, I don't know what to look at first. 
Oh, something's caught my eye. Anything take fancy? Two. Oh, it's been a while since I've sat in one of these. Oh, this is lovely in here. Oh, it takes me back. It takes me back. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, it's back in my car. Oh, beauty. You've got the old immobiliser on it as well. Oh, my friend had the Viva 1.8. This is the Magnum, so it's got a 2.3 engine in it. Oh. oh, the seats were a bit saggy. Got some baggy, saggy seats in it, but... Uh... Oh, it's been a few years. Oh, oh clutch is stiff. Clutch is stiff. <laughs> They're playing the steering. Not oh, bad old bus, though. Look at that. Peugeot 205, 10 to 12. Good money, that. G Reg, 1989. 2.2 Rover. Master MR2, what do Oh, Alpha Spider. Twin cam, looks nice. 10 to 12, estimating. Left hooker as well. Oh, wow, this looks nice. 205 GTI. Is it 1.9, 1.6? Leather interior. Oh, I used to drive one of these. It got a Turbo Technics conversion on it. It was rapid. Oh, you'd whap it into third gear, put your foot down, and the wheels would light up. In the wet, it was just, a, oh, it was so fast. Nice light clutch, actually. It says it had a new clutch in it. That's lovely and light. Look at that, like a little go-kart. <laughs> Cracking bit of kit. Ooh, not your gearbox, though, aren't they? They all, always were a bit, a bit clunky on the old gears. No power steering, I don't think, on this one. Oh, I had the MG Metro, and I was going to chop it in for one of these. I was going to change it. This has only got 52,000 miles on the clock, if it's correct. It looks like it, actually. It looks pretty original. And then, um, yeah, I just didn't at the last minute. I kept my MG Metro. But that is a cracking example. It looks tidy, doesn't it? Patrice 1990. Estimated value is 14 to 18,000. Mm. Good money. Mustang. <gasps> Left hooker. Oh, look at this, okay. Simpson harnesses. <laughs> oh, got the bag on. Oh, automatic American, the old Yankee muscle car. Oh, look at the dials in this. Oh, this is awesome inside. It's a cracking bit of kit. Got a massive bonnet looking out in front of you. It's like driving an old bus. Steering's nice, there's no play in that. That's really defined. I can have this. That's not bad. Notice that. Well, I like that. Estimation 22 to 26, I think, on the thing. It's quite nice, that. I like that one. What drinks we put a bid in? See, doing that. I don't know. XR3i. I rebuilt a few of those engines in the time. Turbo version as well. Recaro seats. Oh, they've gone a bit saggy though. Got some saggy baggy seats in there. It's a bit tight to get in this one. Got a few landies. I like this one. Stacked up. Look at that. 40 to 45,000. Oh, it's nice inside. These always are a bit basic, but... Um, oh, yeah, this one looks all right. Look at that. Nice plush seats in here. Oh, get in here. It was a bit dark. 
Yeah, oh, I like that. You're so high up in here. It's like it's like being in a tank. It's not bad though, is it? It's nice. Plenty of room inside. Nice drawing position. Yeah, not bad at all, that. Got all the bars on it and everything, that one. One with snorkel on it. Oh, about a Nissan GTR. Let's have a look, see what we've got here. 40 to 45,000 on the reserve. Oh, look at them seats, look. Got the curved, curved, beautiful plush seats. Oh. Oh, yes. You see the Jap stuff, it does feel nice when you get in there. It's got, the clutch is heavy on it. That's a really hefty clutch, but then it needs to be. It's got a bit of power, this one, hasn't it? 106,000 mile on the clock. Original steering wheel and stuff, though. It's not bad, it's quite nice. Nissan Skyline R33 GTR, right hand drive, JDM business plan. Oh, 40 to 45. Mm. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, American classic. Not that I'd want one, but. <laughs> Look at this beauty. This is something out of Karate Kid, isn't it? I'm going to be Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Mr. Maggie's car. <laughs> Imagine that turning up home with this later. I think uh, I'd be in for a divorce. I don't know, it's got a nice big bench seat for us all to sit on at the front. Oh, it's dead soft. Oh, I'm... oh what a seat that is. Oh, it's comfy that. Oh, just doing Route 66. What a motor. What a motor that is. Buick. It's nice, isn't it? Like that. Well, I wouldn't want it, but it's nice to sit in. Get out. Cracking bit of kit. <laughs> what else we got? The old Jag. Oh, and we've got the Jeremy Clarkson mobile that's just been on the Grand Tour. to 15. <laughs> I just watched this episode the other day as well. Oh, nearly knocked his chandelier off. Oh, I don't know about the uh, leopard skin, in, leopard skin, the uh, Dalmatian interior. Oh God, it's low down and the seat's rock hard. Holy crap. That's mean, isn't it? Who's gonna buy that? Probably a bit of TV nostalgia, but that's about it. You have to rip that interior straight out. And the chandeliers off the front. Now, 3.5 litre Rover. Chap across the road had one of these. Um, and I remember it when I was a kid and they crashed and mm, a bit fatal. But it was one of these big beauties. Look at that. Leather. Oh, it's like getting in an armchair. Oh, all oh, the smell in here. Oh, it smells like a museum. Oh, it's just beautiful. The space, the space in here, the way the dashboard rounds off. Mm. How they used to drive. They don't make cars like this. Thank God. Um, <laughs> That's a bit unfair, isn't it? It's got a place, someone will want it. E type Jag. This one. 
tiny, tiny little seats though. Look at the size of them. You're going to struggle under that door keeps closing as well. We've got to try and get in here with the... Oh, we are beauty. Oh, that's a... You're all right once you're in. There's not a lot of room for your feet down the bottom though. The pedals, it's really, really tight. The steering wheel's quite peculiar as well. It's like really far close to the dashboard. You kind of feel like you're going to catch your hand on it. It's nice though inside. Nice big power bulge in the bonnet. First time I've ever sat in one of these, to be fair. At least the first I can remember anyway. I've never been a fan of them. They're not really my cup of tea, but yeah. I'm sounding a bit picky now, aren't I? Lotus. Corvette. Now you see, I do like Lancia Fulva. That is a peach. That looks absolutely stunning. I do like that. Yeah. Old MGA, I think it is, or MGB. No, it's not a B, is it? MGA. Got another Audi over here, just like Michael's. Audi Quattro. That's very similar to Michael's, isn't it? That? It's got leather in it though, this one. It's quite tidy, it's quite nice. So they reckon these are worth about 40 to 50, so what's this one worth? This is quite nice in here. Yeah, it feels nice. I don't know, what's the uh, reserve on it? 48 to 52. Wowzers. Jeez, these fetch good money, don't they? They fetch good money. It's a nice one though. G Reg 1989. Oh, look at that. 20 valve. Yeah, rare fact to call Argo Blue. History. It's nice, isn't it? <sighs> what have we got here? Tickford Turbo Capri. 45 to 50 grand as well. The paintwork on that is just sublime. Yeah. Wow. What year is this one? 1984. Now my dad had the two litre S Capri. I think that was a, might have been a, was that a V or a B reg? I can't remember. No, it wouldn't be a B, it must be a V reg. Um, oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, clutch is like the hardest thing you'll ever press. Talk about, give you like leg, leg day down at the gym. Wowzers. Yeah, yeah, the first thing you notice is your head hits the roof straight away. They're so low, your head is right up onto the, the, uh, the roof lining. Five-speed gearbox. Oh, old school, isn't it? Walnut dashboard. Yeah, Recaro's in that, though, so uh, it's not bad, but oh, I don't know. My mate had a Capri. Andy. You'll like that, Andy. Why don't you buy that one? Turbo, that sort you out. Um, back in the day, Mark 1 Capri over here. You see, that looks more, that's more my sort of style. Quite like that one. It's got the V in it as well. That's got a big engine. That's not a normal engine. That's got some kind of, that's like a Chevy or something. It's got a big, big lump in it. V8 converged super speed of Essex. Wowzers. 30 to 40 grand reserve on that. That's a, that's a big lump, that is. This thing would be like shit off a shovel. Doesn't that look nice? That's a classic, that looks real classic, that looks nice. I know it's not authentic because it's got the, the conversion, but still a nice looking car. Here we go. Mark II. Oh, it's locked, I think. Yeah, it's locked it. Locked the door so we can't play in it. What else we got down there? Got a Lotus. Suffered the uh, the fate of the rip seat again, like this. <laughs> Too soft with this on there. <laughs> low as you like, though, aren't they? They're so low. There ain't a lot of distance from the floor to that. You won't be able to see much around the country lanes. Another E type. Porsche. So 
have a look in the poker. Oh, 911. What do you think it is? It's a 911 966 Turbo. Yeah. Oh, I could live in this. That's nice. Hmm. 73,000 miles, reserve of 30 grand, 30, well, estimated 30, 32. Keep saying reserve, it's not just the estimate, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, I can see myself in that one. That's quite nice. Um, let's have a look down here, see what we've got. I've got a granddad's car over here, I've got the roller. Oh, it smells in there. That smells really old. It doesn't smell leathery, it just smells like it's a bit mouldy in there. That's been stood around for a while with the windows shut. Not a lot of circulation got in that one. Oh, someone's just caught me eye. Yeah, I've got that. What about that? Lancia Delta Integrale. <laughs> left hand drive though. Whoa. Mind, we don't mind a bit of left, that left action, do we? Oh, what do you reckon? You see, this is my cup of tea. 80s, 80s rally cars and Impreza's and, well, that's nice, 90s, isn't it? But, oh, clutch is nice and light on this. That's lovely. I could really get used to driving this one. Nice position, very box head, lots of windows. I could get this sideways. I'd have a bit of fun in this one. What a cracking car. Love it. Yeah, so if you ain't got no holes in it, you know what they're like. They don't know how to uh, rust protect, do they? Not built for the UK's grit. What else we got down here? Got an old Volvo. More Capris. Got some buses. Split screen. 18 to 22. That's nice, isn't it? It's estimated, it's quite cheap. On a project, Mini Cooper, sorry, Mini 1275 GT. Needs a bit of bodywork doing to it. Looks a bit of a tatty state. I do love them though, I do love them. That take me back, that one. I hope the door probably fall off if you open it actually. I don't bother opening that. What else we got down here? Oh God. Rotten Jensen Interceptor. No change there. Ferrari 412. Look at that. It's a massive pretty thing, isn't it? Oh, I don't like that. There's plenty of Calibras. Vauxhall Calibras. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you see now, this is, this is the stuff. Subaru Impreza. This one looks sweet as well. It looks tidy. Estimate 28 to 32. Limited edition. 56,000 miles. It's quite slow mileage. I've done a, done a track day with a friend in one of these. Oh, it was amazing. You could flick it sideways. It was so predictable. It was an absolute dream to drive, it really was. Turned you into a total hooligan. But um, yeah, what a motor. I love the sound. They're just a classic, aren't they? Nice though, this one's in, this one's in really good nick. You've got loads of room, lots of headroom. Just a nice drive, nice position to sit and drive in them. Cracking motor. We've got a limo Range Rover look. I don't know who's going to have that. <sighs> classic. Oh, look at that beauty. Targa, Porsche 911. It's not got the whale tail on it, but um, I think that's the SP, isn't it? This though is, uh, this is nice. Oh yeah. Oh, the door's gonna go in it up to Subaru. I'm gonna be careful with that. Oh, just pull it off. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> God the pedals are really peculiar. They're like right over. 
to the left and the clutch is the clutch is ready the clutch pivots from the bottom it doesn't look like normal cars pivot from the top it pivots from the bottom I feel really strange <laughs> oh, I don't know if I like that and yeah I've always liked these but I don't know if I could uh... Ooh, that, that was kind of a bit Ooh. kind of put me off a bit and yeah I love that shape it is amazing What else we got? We've got loads of old Range Rovers. Keep them. Oh, Range Rovers after Range. Look at them. I've shed loads of them. Oh, we've got a little special mini over here. What's this? This looks a bit interesting. Oh my word! Look at that. What's happened to that? That's had some big work done. It's got massive brakes. It can't have a normal engine in it. 220 brake horsepower Civic Type R. <laughs> 14 to 18 thousand pound that's a serious bit of kit isn't it wowzers got a type r in it that's cheap isn't it has it been done well though that's the question bodywork looks immaculate the bodywork looks absolutely mint on that Oh, it's got full roll cage in it. Yeah, totally caged out. It's got the dashboard down there. Gear stick at the top. That is a wicked bit of kit. Oh, I bet it's an absolute animal. It's going to be an absolute animal, that is. I'd love to have a go in it. That's got me thinking. I wasn't very happy, I can tell you. What else we got? Minivans, minivans. That's a nice little minivan. Quite like that one. Another 205 GTI. Another Porsche. Oh, nine, 928. 928 Porsche, I think that is. Got loads of minis down here. Nothing, no Cooper S's though, so I'm going to stay away. I don't like my Cooper S. Uh, Lambo in the corner. We don't want that, do we? Not we all our speed umps. Metro, Metro Turbo. Dare I sit in it? This will take me back to my youth. On my MG Metro G Reg. Mine was an A Reg. Oh, let's have a sit in it. Nostalgia. Here we go. A bit of nostalgia. Oh my word. Oh, oh, it's like, oh, it's like putting on an old shoe. It's like putting on an old shoe, it is. They've got really high sills. Oops, check myself in the door. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, my God. Boaty gear change. Blah, 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 blah. Look at that boaty gear change. It's like, where's the gears? Are they in there somewhere? It could be anywhere. Blooming heck. What a motor, though. <sighs> Takes me back, like I say. I did have the MG Metro, and I had it for a few years. Uh, it was a good tool. It was all right. It was okay. Bless it, look. <laughs> What's the reserve on this one? I wouldn't want to go back there, but uh, 10 to 12,000 quid for that. Ooh, I'd rather have this one, the old Williams Clio. And that's saying something, going for French over British. And I think we may be about there with what we've got, a few stags and an old beamer. Sunbeam, no, no, oh, and that's not Sunbeam I want. I want the uh, Talbot Sunbeam, there ain't none of them here. Got another Capri. This one looks pretty stylish, pretty tidy. 20 to 25. The most desirable this spot. Mm, three litre SV6. Datsun Skyline. Oh, here we go. Look at that. That's like something out of James Bond, isn't it? Look at that old smoker. Wowzers. Got Morgan. You like that kind of thing? No, this one looks a bit special. Wowzers. 30 to 35.
that has got to be probably the best looking Capri I've ever seen. Look at that. Oh my word. Oh, this is delightful. What was I saying about Capris? I take it all back. Wow, the gears is rock solid though. Oh my God. That gear change is horrendous. Oh, that gears is so hard to change. <laughs> 95,000 miles from your Saturn here, can you believe that? It's tidy though, look at the leather, it's gorgeous. If you were after a Capri, this has got the flared arches. Oh, I mean, look at that, it looks a peach. What is in it? Oh, it's got a massive sound system in it. It'll make your ears bleed and give you a nosebleed. But what's the, uh, what's the engine? That's what we want to know. Uh, Nacho Aspe six cylinder blue print engine. Oh, it's only 158 horsepower. Ooh, so it's only a, it's a slow one. It's just got the old V6 in it. Bit of a, yeah, bit of a, looks fast, but it's, uh, it's not. It's turned out really well like that. That's turned out immaculate. Uh, oh, should we have a look at the Volvo? Going back to my granddad's era. Mmm. 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 Chisel speed stuff. 1978. 30 to 40. That's nice, isn't it? What do you to that? Wowzers. Oh. Oh, you get your head on that when you when you get in. Oh, it's got this weird pedal thing as well, where the pedals pivot in the wrong direction. They all go up, oh, look. <laughs> Plunky old gear change. It's nice in here, though. It's quite nice. Yeah, you know, I kind of thought I'd like this driving position, but it's um, you've got hardly anything. You can hardly see anything out there. You've got about eight inches of window screen to look through. So it looks really good from the outside, but in reality, I think I'll give it a miss. I'm glad I sat in that. That's uh, broken one of my dreams. Ooh. Ah, here we go. Back to me, uh, back to me heritage. When I started in the motor trade was Volvos. Cut my teeth on them. And this is probably uh, one of the most iconic ones. Oh, let's have a sit in here. Oh, that's quite nice. That's nice and roomy. Eh? Got a bit of headroom. Nice vision. It's got that nice rounded. Look at the dials and everything on there. Beautiful. It's nice inside. Gear change is lovely. You know? Oh, that's not bad, is it? I can see why Grandad liked them. I can see why he liked them. Uh, 30 to 35. Uh, P1800S. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. The old Alpina. Oh, which one shall I have? I've been around and sat in a load of them and I can't make my mind up. So, uh, maybe I'll have to, uh, oh, we've got an S2000 over there as well. What's the scores on the doors for the S2000? Nice. I do like these. This has had some bodywork done on it though. It's had some re-sprays. 10 to 12. That's quite cheap, isn't it? That's quite cheap, that. That's what they're thinking. Yeah. Don't look bad, does it? it? Don't look bad. I mean, it has had a lot of bodywork done on it. You can see this whole side's been repainted. It's had a bit of work done, bless it, but then again, it's a rear wheel drive. It's probably seen a bit of sideways action and bashed a few things. <coughs> heart to heart, do you remember that? The 500 SL Mercedes. Old Jennifer's getting in this one. Going back a bit. That'll take you back. 
Oh, it's like, oh, it's like being at home. It's got a nice big sofa in it. Oh, God, blimey. Oh, yeah, eh? Typical sort of German. It's quite low, low roof, though. It's low on the roof. Not bad, though. Not much room in the back. I want to get the uh, child seat in there. That's not what it's about, though, is it? Rosers. I'm getting hungry. Let's go get some food. I thoroughly enjoyed that. What a cracking walk round. Oh, that was a cracking show. Just got the bus back, the shuttle bus. Really good, really impressed with all the cars. Loads of ones. Bit of uh, nostalgia there as well. You know, cracking on in all those old motors. Getting to sit in them and stuff was brilliant. So yeah, really enjoyed that. Michael's Aldi. Just what the work is put into that. I can't believe how many hours he's put in. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. Really, really good job, Michael, there. Um, yeah, I wish I could uh, do some work the same, but you know, that's patience and time. It's just amazing that you've done it like that. Looks incredible. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then uh, yeah, drop me a little thumbs up, drop me some comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Be a good day, wake up, today's gonna be a good day.